You're watching the Showbiz Insider. Time now to take a look at the musical icons that have been rocking the Emirates. It was a big month in music again with Bruno Mars in Dubai and Metallica in the capital. But right now, I want to bring you up to date with the ultimate comeback queen. She recently rocked Dubai and she's releasing an album this month. This is our exclusive interview with Eve. Hello. Your average baby girl doing it dog I'm well established I ain't trying to lead you on just want to ask if you might want to give me your name you know I see you Tom the time you see my Bella will don't mean it I know these just want to settle you gotta say you want my show tell me now the whole my music X concept is about East meeting West yes. music development tell me why you wanted to be involved um I'm I'm so happy to be involved um you know for me my you know I come from hip-hop I come from a very small well not small I come from Philadelphia but you know a small part of the world so whenever I am able to travel to come somewhere to perform for people who you know just love music who love hip-hop I'm always there so I'm happy to be here well we're delighted to have you here now listen I know your lip lock is out soon tell me about your new album yes finally it took forever lip lock will be out May 14th um, and it's just it took forever but this is the right album I think if I would have put out an album two years ago it wouldn't I wouldn't have felt like this and right now I actually feel like a new artist like I have a new like found energy for music so I'm really happy now it has actually been 11 years since your last album what have you it's been crazy. doing in all this time I gotta tell you it's crazy every time someone actually says it or if I say it's been 11 years I can't believe it um, I have been performing though the last couple years I've been performing all over um, between that, I had a TV show for a few years, um, and then, unfortunately, I had to rework my whole team. I had to fire management, hire management, um, you know, I had to find a new label, actually. So, it, took, it just took a while, and now I feel like it's the right situation. Tell me about some of the collaborations that you've had and what are, what are we looking forward to on the album? Um, so on this album I have um, a guy named Gabe Supporter from Cobra Starship which is actually um, a pop group um, and, but we did a song called Make It Out This Town and that's the first official single. I have um, Snoop Lion or Snoop Dogg or whatever you want to call him. Yes. Um, I have Pusha T and Juicy J. Um, who else? I know I'm forgetting some people. I actually have some new up and coming people too. I got a new up and coming girl. Her name is Nacho. And then a new up and coming guy. His name is Propane. Because I wanted to use some people that, you know, that people might not know. So it's it's really good. So how is the whole sound on this album? How has it evolved? How is your sound different now? Yeah, it's definitely evolved. I think, you know, I, I, what I wanted to do was make sure that people who knew me and loved me from Rough Riders could recognize me lyrically but the music because I travel so much I'm into so many different kinds of music and I think it's a lot more global I think you'll be able to hear that just um, bigger sounds um, definitely different definitely hip-hop but definitely different Chill. Just tell us a little bit about your downtime. When you're not making music, what are you doing? What am I doing? I am so boring. I, t I, th I tell people all the time, I'm, I read a lot. Um, I try to read like two books a month, if I can, if I'm not crazy busy. Um, and I don't know, I watch movies. I'm a movie fan. That is like my favorite thing to do. But other than that, no, I like to go out every so often, but I'm usually pretty boring. You know, I have one more question, actually. I'm curious about your songwriting process. Yeah. What inspires you? Is it like love, relationships, drama? What is it? Everything. You know, my life is, you can literally hear my life through my music. So it could be a situation, I, I let the beat tell me what to write, and it, it might bring up an emotion. Like, oh, damn, all oh, right, I remember blah 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 this you know this happened or oh I remember I was here or oh this reminds me of my boyfriend let me write about this so I 
I let the music tell me what to write. So now that we're talking celebrity artists in the city, we can move on to superheroes and movie stars. Did you know that out of the top 50 movies of all time, 41 are superhero, fantasy, sci-fi or animation related? So, of course, we have an event to follow suit and we got our geek on at Comic-Con Dubai, catching up with the gorgeous Manu Bennett. Here it is. So how often do you get to witness the executioner from Resident Evil wielding a blood-stained axe in front of all of the characters from Adventure Time? Well, this is Dubai paying homage to pop culture. All the different industries are coming together and it's almost becoming mainstream now so you know people come and they say oh you know what I'm not much of a geek and stuff like that and then you're like so but did you like Harry Potter oh, I love Harry Potter what about Avatar oh, I loved Avatar best movie ever yeah that was about like you know huge alien blue aliens and wizards you're a geek you know so I think I think it's been there and I think MEFCC is uh, you know bringing this out in everyone Pop phenomena crosses boundaries, and this year's Dress Up Comic Con boasted celebrity A-listers, game and film launches, plus exhibitions of collectibles, with regional networks further pushing the genre forward. Cartoon Network Studios Arabia, we're, we're developing new original shows that come from this region, for this region first and foremost, but that will also be international Cartoon Network shows. I mean, I don't work in the comic industry per se, but I think that you can see from the, the just how busy Comic-Con is that it's really booming here. And I could, you know, just the atmosphere of this place, you can see the amount of people that are coming here, you know, in cosplay, dressing up as characters. There's obviously a real appetite for character uh, comic books and, um, and for animation generally. I think that it's obviously a good time for this industry here. Superheroes, sci-fi and animation, movies and graphic novels all have a massive international following. And our Geek Fest drew a fun, inclusive, multinational crowd. I'm dressed as Kratos, the demigod, the son of Zeus. And I love this Comic Con because you, you can get to be whatever you want, basically, which is awesome. You, you don't have to be yourself. This is Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII, Advent of Children. It's a band. It's called Family Force 5. And they have a song called Zombie. I'm the executioner from Resident Evil. You look incredible. Are you really that tall? Are you on stage? Yes, I'm really this tall. I'm just as Haruhi Suzumiya. And I'm Neko from Project K. So the star power down here at Comic Con today includes Warwick Davis of Star Wars fame, Manu Bennett of The Hobbit, and of course, Johan Griffith from The Fantastic Five. But it was Manu Bennett who really drew the crowds. First of all, just tell me a little bit about your involvement with Comic Con and why you wanted to come down and support the event. You know, uh, this sort of uh, event uh, organisation is kind of global, you know, and I think one of the most interesting things about being part of the Comic Con circuit is really that you, uh, you get to, to see and appreciate, you know, the different countries around the world that do absorb the material that you're making. And, you know, I, I like to think of my participation in art uh, as, as part of a bridge, you know, bridging with the world. You know, when you work with someone like Peter Jackson, you realise that you, the material that you're doing is going to go out and be enjoyed by almost every person on the planet. And uh, that's, it's, it's just such an honour to, to sort of get into that position and, and then be able to go out and springboard around the world and sort of see the result. From world-class acting talent to the creation of local pop art and comics, crowdfunding is making an Arabic version of Comic Gin Rise. So we've created a partnership with um, Comic-Con Middle East and we've got two projects that are going to launch on the site, uh, which is Aflamna, which is the first crowdfunding site for the Arab world. 
And if you don't know what crowdfunding is, basically it's a website where people pitch ideas and the only thing stopping them from making their idea come true and making their dreams come true is the money. So they offer really exciting rewards like with these ones you could maybe name a character or get a signed copy of a special edition of a comic. And not forgetting gamers, Warner Brothers upcoming superhero console game Injustice features characters from Superman and Batman. It's set to be a big hit with the video game fans. From manga to costume crime fighters, it was interactive fun for the entire family. Comic Con truly bringing out the superhero in everyone. So those were all of the big stories in film, fashion and music and I hope you loved meeting those celebrities right here in Dubai. That brings us to the end of this edition of the Showbiz Insider but we will be back again same time next month with more Hollywood gossip and celebrity news. See you then.